Welcome to Houston Baptist University's Psych 4326, The Psychology of Death and Dying. Reminder, uh, these presentations are only intended to highlight some important or difficult points from the chapter. They are in no way comprehensive and do not include all the material that students will be held responsible for on exams. You are expected to completely and thoroughly engage with all the required learning materials. Exams in this course may include questions taken from the textbook reading, videos, and PowerPoint presentations. This presentation covers some important topics from Chapter 7 in our textbook. Make sure you read all of the chapter and take notes. There is much more material in the chapter than we are covering in this presentation. The initiator of the modern hospice movement reported that dying persons ask three things of those who care for them. Help me, meaning minimize my distress. Listen to me, meaning let me direct things or at least be heard. And don't leave me, stay with me and give me your presence. An empathetic presence is helpful. Dying persons need someone to actively listen and stay with them. Look over the active listening techniques on page 162 in your textbook. These are very helpful techniques. As you look over this list of active listening techniques, think about which ones are easier and which ones are harder. Which are most appropriate for someone who is dying? There are four main dimensions of caring for someone who is dying. The physical dimension covers the type of pain they are experiencing and relieving that pain. One has to differentiate acute pain from chronic pain. Consider the benefits of types of medications. Injections can be painful, and we don't really have to worry about addiction with dying persons. And what other symptoms can be alleviated to make the person more comfortable? Psychological dimensions include sadness and anger and other emotions that the person might be experiencing. Listening to them is the best therapy. Social dimensions include a potentially shrinking circle of who they want to see and be with. Spiritual dimensions include finding meaning, rituals, resources, finding hope, and considering beliefs about the afterlife. As Christians, we don't want anyone to pass without knowing Jesus Christ as their Savior. What are your thoughts on deathbed conversions? Make sure you read Chapter 7 thoroughly. There is so much more than we're covering in this presentation. I'll see you in Chapter 8.